So I came into the kitchen. It's early in the morning, and I noticed that um, these cabinets were open, and this door was open. So I looked at my cameras, and guess what I found? Nothing but my kids leaving the cabinets open. No, this is a ghost. This is my kids not shutting. And we made it another week. Whew. It's been a week. We have like two days before school starts. And, you know, the teachers here have just been grinding and working hard to get their classrooms ready. So I appreciate you guys. Guys, it is the middle end of August and we are working hard. I got two videos to show you today and this one took place in my backyard um, just ooh, about last week and uh, let me play it for you first and then we're going to analyze it. So obviously the first train of thought is that there's something stuck on a spider web. Honestly, that's what I thought too. Um, I've, and I've seen spider webs on my cameras before, but the thing about spider webs on cameras is yes, they do move and they kind of bounce like this, but they kind of stay in just one direction because you have one end hooked to something, either a fence or a house, and then this end is hooked to something else. And so of course the wind is going to be taking it and moving it but it doesn't go out of frame and then come back in and then go out of frame it doesn't move it that drastically um, and that's what's happening in this video you literally have this moving past the back fence and then coming back into frame and it's like playing a little peekaboo game and um, it doesn't move like a natural spider web. Um, the spider web's range of motion or, or things that are hooked into a spider web, it, it's, it's not very large. It can just only move into a certain area. And as you can see also in this video, there's a bug that kind of flies in and moves through the line where these would be. So I'm gonna add another clip and I, I wanna preface this by saying this is not my clip. Um, I found this because it was relevant and it looks similar to mine, but this took place in the daytime and I'm gonna leak in, in the description box where I found this clip. So I don't wanna take credit for that, it's not mine. But I do want you to see the difference between mine in the nighttime and this one in the daytime um, because it does have some similarities. The second video is interesting. I like the daytime perspective of it. Um, it's flying through the air and it looks like it's a bullet or some kind of metal instrument that's just spinning and spinning and spinning. But the interesting part of it is when it transforms into this orb light and then shoots off. So what is that? No idea. I'm gonna play it for you one more time. I want you to watch the ending and how it transforms from this metal piece into some spirit-like orb. So, alien or ghost? Is it an alien or is it a ghost? So thank you so much for tuning in with me today. I will see you Monday. And I have something special for you. It's a little bit longer, a little bit more in depth, but it's going to be fun. And so I hope you have a good weekend and um, get ready for school. It's coming. Bye.